Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's date is May 3rd, 2020, and we're going to do an update review on AAL, and I'm going to hand this right over to Miss Vegas. Yes, well, good morning, everyone, or afternoon when you listen to this. Um, you know what, American Airlines, we took a, some puts on Friday late in the day, mainly because we saw a lot of options activity on American Airlines. And you know what? Interestingly enough, what happened on the weekend? Warren Buffett said he was wrong on investments in the airline industry. He said the airlines have too many planes because people are not likely going to be traveling as much as they did the next three to four years before this coronavirus outbreak. He actually said he sold all of his shares of United Airlines, Southwest, Delta, and American Airlines. And so no surprise, he feels that, you know what, it was not a good investment in his opinion. However, again, you know, keep in mind, that's his opinion. You might see definitely a downtick in the stock. We took it as a put because of the fact we saw the volume activity. We're seeing a lot of dark pool activity on the stock and the trade triggered. So one thing to mention is that, you know, American Airlines had their uh, earnings report and uh, one of the questions that Jamie Barker from uh, JP Morgan was asking, you know, he really talked about, you know, with regards to the negotiations going well, about the government loans, the liquidity build. He also wanted to know about the Treasury turns you down. Um, you know, what's going on with the Treasury if they turn you down and can you draw the proceeds 100% all at once? So De uh, Derek Kerr, who's the CFO, he basically commented that, um, you know what, they're working with the Treasury team. Um, they said that uh, they've had very constructive conversations as they move forward. Uh, and they also said that they feel that they can get a deal done and that everyone's going to be very reasonable about it. And he said that that is their number one goal is to move forward to get that completed. And they mentioned that with the extra collateral that they have left in the end, is to go down and look at other opportunities as they move forward. And they're very confident that working with the Treasury Department and the team that they can get the government loan put in place. And as you know, we're talking about Steve Mnuchin and uh, the, uh, you know, obviously the other parties uh, involved with the Treasury Department. So um, that sounds promising and it looks like the, it'll give them some nice opportunities also um you know to to do some collaborating here with the treasury department and obviously it is difficult very dramatic different times right now uh the treasury department he did mention is working night and day to help them get liquidity into the u.s economy and to hopefully help them get up and running again so you know as much as Warren Buffett may think this is a bad investment, and you know, again, this is just his opinion. He was disclosing why. That's fine. Maybe you know he unloaded the stock now. But you know what? Here's how you got to think of it. Obviously, the airline business right now is suffering, and they do need the assistance from the Treasury. But think about this. No one's traveling right now because they are not allowed. They're restricted. And some people obviously cash restricted too, they can't afford it. But you know what, once they can open up the travel sector in due course, okay, people are gonna be booking cruises and air travel. People are desperate for a vacation and there's gonna be all kinds of deals. I was talking to someone I know who's a travel agent and uh, they mentioned to me that they've got clients calling saying i'm desperate i want i need a trip we need a vacation my family's exhausted we want to go away what can we book and they're like we can't book anything just yet you know because they have to find out when these other places are going to be opening up these hotels around the world but they're they, they have clients that like as soon as you find out if anything opens up please call us we want a vacation so people really want to travel so you know what jim let's hear your thoughts because you know that's what Warren Buffett's doing, but that doesn't always mean that the stock is doomed. So let's hear your yeah, thoughts. I, I kind of disagree with him here. I mean, if he's already had a big loss on it, he should have just held on to it. But we're going to look down here. The reason why I say that is because we do have a bottom channel that we've been fulfilled here during this cocooning process. It has pulled back a lot of true 
you know, if he was up here around thirty-four ninety-nine or something, right around thirty bucks, I'd agree with him. I don't know exactly where he got out at the trade, but this thirteen oh seven has been kind of like a resistance area for the last two months, and also the support area has been right down here at around ten bucks, with a low at nine oh nine. So you know, I, sometimes I agree with him a lot, but sometimes I kind of disagree with him in in different aspects. Right now we got a $10 support, and if we can hold that $10, that'll be great. Now, it can drop down to that lower 9 area, and that would be a strong buy for now. But you still have to be bearish, definitely have to be bearish on airlines and cruise uh, cruise ships. But I think airlines will have a better chance of bouncing back than the cruise ships will for the start. I That's all I can really talk about it, but I'll give you a couple supports and resistance areas. But I, you see this channel that I'm talking about here since we hit the bottom. We've had a triple bottom down here, and we're working on bottom number four. I'd like to see that hold. If it shows a sign of weakness, we can go down to around 9 bucks. That's where I'm going to call it a very strong buy. I'm going to call it a strong buy right around 9.34. Let me change this to the dollar amount here. Magnify this up again. I want to get right down here on the bottom of this base of this candle. And this is on a daily... Uh, yearly daily channel so at 941 is going to be your low support and then you got that first support which is going to be right around the ten dollar area I might start taking the first position on it or seeing how it's traveling if it pulls below that ten dollars you're going to definitely see that low triple bottom down here at 909 to 941 then that first support right at ten bucks now the resistance that we're going to be looking at is going to be right around eleven dollars if it bounces off that 10, it'll bounce back up to 11, and then maybe back up in here to another resistance level of right around the 12, 1206, and then finally rest at 1307. Until we start seeing the, uh, the lifts on the travel bands, and then this stock's going to take off. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not kind of catching what he's feeling right here. I don't know where he got out again. You know, if he got out up here in the 20s, uh, that'd be a pretty good deal. But if he got down here, out of here, right around between the 11 and the $13 deal, I think that was a, uh, a bad advised mistake. And that's going to be AAL. And no no offense against Mr. Buffett at all. 941, low support, $10 is going to be that first. The three resistances to break are going to be 1106, 1206, and 1307. More or less dollar intervals. And that's going to be AAL. Always remember, when you're looking up on our site here, hit that little Twitter bird, subscribe, hit that follow button. Miss Vegas posts alerts in here all the time. And we also have on our website our little stock twits. And we also have, if you ever want to join the chat room, we have the pricing and the setup right in here. And just go ahead and, and, and subscribe to that. And that is I Love Stocks. Miss Vegas, you have anything else you want to say? No, I think uh, expect potential downtick for sure in American Airlines. Uh, that's just how the market's just going to react. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know what? We'll see where we can find an opportunity down the road for a reversal. But, um, you know, this is sometimes opportunity for uh, reversal and make money on the way down and make money on the way up. So, Let's see how that one reacts, and we'll do a little update next week. Okay. Have a great day. I love stocks.